Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a Diverse World 3 minute challenge today. And we're, we're coming up very fast on uh, episode 250. So far we have a suggestion to do cities. Uh, so I'm looking into good maps that we can do. Um, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Today, we're definitely in the tropical area. We got what look like palm trees. These could be banana trees. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't actually know what banana plants look like, but I think they look something like that. Um, we could be in an Asian country. We could be. And that, that does help us right there. Um, so we could be Japan or Korea. Uh, however... Based on my my luck, uh, we won't be in either of those, and we'll end up in like Taiwan or something. Um, so we got some mountains, it appears. We definitely got Asian letters. I don't see any circles, so that that can help us get rid of the idea that we could be could uh, be in Korea. So we're we're probably looking at Japan. Um, however, Taiwan is still a possibility. But I'm pretty sure this this star is is Japanese, not not whatever Taiwan is. What's Taiwan's language? Ooh, that's not the Japan flag though. God. Now I've never seen this flag before. It could be Hong Kong, but I don't think it is. I think this is probably gonna be over here. Um, God, I'm hoping this is the flag of Taiwan, man. I really am. Uh, that's it's an interesting flag. Obviously, it's red, white, and blue, uh, but it's it's a fucking giant red patch, small little blue patch, kind of like the United States flag. This, and then you got a white star. Well, it's a sun, as technically, but that that is probably a great hint, guys. It's probably a really great hint. And then there's me, and uh, exactly, uh, sh fuck. We got Shu Hu. And that is 40. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't. Could we be Hong Kong? No, because that's different too. And the Philippines doesn't look like this. Fuck me. Alright. We're going to go Taiwan. Even though I know it's not Taiwan. And it was Taiwan. Alright. Now... That's not bad. 54 miles away. So now we know what the flag of Taiwan looks like. And I, I guarantee we'll be able to pick that out in a fucking lineup. It's it's hard to fucking miss that. Uh, we definitely are in Europe. I can see the blue line right here. Just where, where in Europe we are. That's where it's going to get a little bit interesting. I can't make out those letters. It looks like there's possibly two of them. Uh, but definitely can't make that out, and I don't know too much about the uh, numbering system. And then we have that. That, to me, could be Arabic, or it could be uh, Hebrew. But it's it's a little blurry, so it's hard to really make out. Uh, so I guess we could be around Israel. Because that, that's, definitely, that's definitely Hebrew. And the only place I know that has the Hebrew as a language is around Israel. Now, whenever we've been in Israel, though, it's been a lot more, like, deserty. So we got to be probably near a pretty major city, right? Because it's, it's in Hebrew, and then it's in Arabic. Um, and then, I guess, the English alphabet. Whatever, whatever that really means. So I'm thinking maybe around Jerusalem. Um... You know, it's a holy city for all three major religions. And, you know, if you're not one of those major religions, like, you, this isn't your fucking holy city. College of Engineering. Yeah, so we, we got three different languages. It, it makes sense to me that we're probably around Jerusalem. However, I'm not seeing any of the uh, major touristy locations. Um, not trying to say that in a bad way. Trying to say that in, in a good way. Um... Something between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock p.m. We got Mahala, Malha, Manahat. Um, 
It's got to be around this area. It's got to be, right? Like, I don't want to guess Jerusalem because usually you'll you'll see the the pretty significant locations. You'll see, you know, Temple Temple Mount, and you'll see all the fucking the domes, the Golden Dome. You can't fucking miss, right? And it looks like we are heading south. So I'm trying to find like a sign that might point us in like the I don't want to say touristy, but Mount Herzl. Um, that's over here. That's to the north of us. So we got to We're probably like down here. Uh, I could see us being like over here. But that's I don't want to say touristy, but it, it's kind of touristy. Um, and we were pretty goddamn fucking close. Uh, looks like Wolf Tracker was up by just a little bit. Not too much, but, uh, that gave us 70 points. And God knows we need those fucking 70 points to beat anyone. Looks like we could be in the United States. I thought this was a baseball field, so maybe not the United States. Um, let's see if we can't find anything from here. Center, 8T7. Center with an E, so that's not in the United States. I can tell you that right now. Soccer centers. However, they're saying soccer. I see a flag that resembles Mexico, uh, so we could be in Mexico. Uh, however, why would why would it be in English and not in Spanish? So maybe we're we're close. I see a give way sign. This is definitely Europe. All right, definitely Europe. Why are they calling it soccer though? Langford Courthouse Green Center. Gosh. And it looks like we're on... Is it a one way? No. Courthouse Green. Uh, massive Warehouse Builders Warehouse. Quick, quick. Ford. That's an American car. UK. So we're in the UK. I was seeing this and I was thinking that we, we might be on the right, uh, the left hand side of the road. Uh, but the .co.uk definitely solidifies that. So we're in, we're in the United Kingdom. That's going to be interesting. Why do the British call it soccer? Because as far as I know, the British call it fucking football. Just like the majority of the world. Which I'm okay with. If you guys want to call it football, just call it football. I'll call, I'll call my sport, you know, American football. We'll all understand what we're talking about. I call soccer soccer, and, and that's what it is, to me at least. Um, but the fact that we know we're in the UK, now the hardest part is where in the UK are we? That that I might not be able to figure out. Even if we found our, find a name, I only got a minute, and I doubt we're going to be able to find it in a minute's time. Uh, Bulkington, Fulshire, uh, we can give a check. But I feel like we're probably going to be in some place that's rather small. Uh, and we won't be able to find. I'm just looking for Bulkington. Bulkington. And uh, if it's smaller than this, then obviously we're not going to fucking find it. Uh, but as of right now, Bulkington is going to be, I guess, maybe east of us. So we could probably check the east coast and have a better chance than checking the west coast, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, could be in the middle as well, I suppose. Eh, I mean, we could we could always just fucking. I mean, we're gonna guess, obviously, but this this could be if we're lucky. What what's really sells it to us? I'm gonna go up here, and I was wrong, and luckily Wolf Trekker almost got a fucking perfect score. So clearly, clearly, my knowledge of fucking England isn't isn't top rate. This could be Eastern Europe. Could also be Russia, I suppose. Uh, we just got to find an alphabet that's going to really uh, sell it to us. And we got this. The Pearl Gardens Extension Estate. It's in English. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, CMB Building Maintenance Co. Gosh. Where the fuck are we? English speaking. Dirt road. Half decent houses. We got sand. Pearl Garden Estates. Could it be, let's see, these signs might have something. Could it be new houses, it's a .com, near a coast? No, that phone number is definitely not the United States. Um, Transcendence Estate, definitely not. And then, I can't even, Kamkuta? Kamkata? 
That sounds familiar. I just couldn't tell you where it is. Um, and it's in English. Dirt Road. We can probably choose an island nation. Um, East Sang something. Oh, it's not. The road's not even fucking constructed yet. Singapore? No, Sangotedo? Uh, South Africa, maybe? I can see South Africa. Now, what other countries really resemble this? Because it looks like we're on the right hand side of the road. Um, I don't remember what South Africa was. Uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria! Alright, so I guess. Does Nigeria. Is Nigeria really English? English speaking? I, I, I honestly didn't put those together. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. Under investigation by EFCC, keep off. Guys, let me just tell you something. That's not how you keep somebody out. <laughs> All right? That spray painting under investigation by EFCC, keep off, that, that wouldn't deter me, okay? And I, I normally, I'm normally a good person. I, I am honestly normally a good person. That would not keep me out. Now... I guess that's something we add to the list, that Nigeria is an English-speaking area. Now, it does look like we are in an area where they're building a lot of residential housing. So I'm thinking we're probably going to be outside the capital, right? Um, mainly because why would you need all this housing uh, unless you were near a major city? So, and obviously there are a few cities. We got Lagos, Port Harcourt, Kano. Uh, but I'm probably thinking... Springfield estate. Oh, uh, we don't have time. And it was actually closer to the coast. So good, good job on you, uh, Wolf Tracker, for getting that one. But I don't know. I figured, I figured the most populated area is probably going to be the capital. The coast was a good idea too. I was thinking of the coast as well. Uh, but you know, obviously, we're not going to get away with this one. And then the final location. Everyone's doing great. We're at almost eighteen thousand. We're four thousand points above average. And I have no chance of winning this. Now we do have red dirt road. We got a bunch of cattle on the road. This could definitely be another African country. Uh, we could be on an island nation. We got a sign right here, Cambodia. So let's go on over to Cambodia. Um, the only thing I know about Cambodia is that there's a song about it, and I think this is where um, Anchor Wat is. So that's that's the extent of my knowledge of Cambodia. Uh, what is the fucking song? Is it Breakfast in Cambodia? No, it's not Breakfast in Cambodia. Whatever, there's a song about it. I think it's from the 90s, you know, grunge rock era. Um, that's about it. I don't know too much about it. Uh, the fact that there's... I guess here's a flag. Well, I mean, there's a few flags. Um, so Cambodia. And we're definitely not near a city, so we could probably go either out here, out here. I doubt we're in a wildlife sanctuary. They're just not going to put us here. There's another wildlife, but, you know, there are some, like, I guess, towns scattered about. We're not going to find too much that really sells it, so it's really going to be a matter of guessing. And if if Wolf Trekker fucks up on this guess, we do have a chance of winning. Um, however small it may be, let's just hope he never found that, those Cambodia signs. I... I Doubt it. I highly doubt it. Looks like we do have a. a that looks like a man-made canal. Uh, it's too straight, to be honest. To be uh, anything else. So do we? Can we find any man-made canals? That would be probably closer to the waterways, wouldn't it? It would have to be close to a waterway. Whether it's man, it's definitely man-made. This could be the Mekong. Now, nah, definitely can't be the Mekong. It looks like it's a fucking straight waterway, which it would mean it's hand dug. Well, not necessarily hand dug, but it's man-made. That's that's where it's gonna fucking throw it. I and this isn't part of it. So Cambodia is relatively small. God damn it! And we only get forty seconds. I doubt we're gonna be able to find any kind of canal here. Um, but it's definitely a canal, so it's man-made. Man-made equals kind of civilized. I guess we could say like we're over here. Which would be a good guess in Cambodia, I suppose. And it wasn't. We were 58.2 miles. It looks like fucking Wolf Tracker got it on the fucking fucking head. Here's the canal. 
Look how fucking close we had to get in there to see it. Uh, but 4,753 points. Guys, 22,448 points. That's nothing to fucking joke about. Wolf Tracker was only 220, uh, 214 points away from a perfect score. Full result time. Guys, how the fuck, man? Jay Philly coming in second place with one, well, 24,290. Looks like the UK uh, was the one that tripped him up as well. Hilde Von Biggen, same thing, UK. Uh, and the Cambodia, the Nigeria one, you guessed around where I was guessing. So that's 22,799. You throw mine in there. And then the UK and Nigeria. Everyone else seemed to do great with, uh, or you know, Cambodia, Thailand, uh, Israel. Just seemed like the UK and Nigeria. And then RM Stone uh, coming in fifth place. Guest around South Africa instead of Nigeria. That seemed to be the only real fuck up. Uh, but 18,616. So guys, not too bad. Everyone's within a few thousand points of each other. Wolf Tracker and Dre Philly, 500 point spread, you know. Hilde von Biggen and myself only about 250 points. So like, we're all we're all doing pretty well, and that sucks because there's no chance I'm ever gonna win ever again. But I do hope you all enjoyed watching this episode of GeoGuessr. Uh, just a little bit of a heads up: the internet should be fixed. But I did get called in for extra shifts, so we will only be doing GeoGuessr until about Friday, no Assassin's Creed and no Subnautica, so I do apologize about that. Uh, that will be on the Facebook and Twitter if you guys forget, but I do look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Uh, we will have GeoGuessr, so I look forward to seeing you all then. Have a good rest of your day, and bye-bye.